We're getting ready for the Ryder Cup on mid morning. Ali Lucia has been live at Hazeltine National Golf Club. Mm -hmm. She's there uh, with the police chief. And Cheska has some important information for us. Hi, uh, Ali. How's it going? Hi, Jason. Great. We are in the Ryder Cup shops and a couple dozen volunteers have already filed their way in. They work in about four to five hour shifts and there are more than 4,000 volunteers here at Hazeltine National Golf Club. So a lot of planning goes into everything here. And of course, I am joined by the Chaska Chief of Police, Chief Scott Knife. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning again. Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Now, you guys have been working on this for the last couple of years. So Tell me just how people can get here, because there are really only three different ways that people can get out to Hazeltine starting tomorrow. That is correct. There are the official Ryder Cup shuttles uh, leaving from Canterbury or Met Southwest Metro Transit in the immediate area or through Metro Transit through downtown Minneapolis and so forth. Those are the three major ways. The other way would be if you have a special car credential that allows on-site parking. Those are the only ways people can get to the venue. So people who attend uh, major sporting events know that when you go to an NFL game, they're very strict about what you can get into the stadium. What are the rules and regulations in terms of what people can bring in here to the course? Well, they're very specific. There are uh, a very uh, specialized size bag, no backpacks. The bag is very precise in its size and its color. You get it through the Ryder Cup. And what goes in that bag is extremely limited. For instance, no obvious weapons, no uh, sh things with sharp points. Uh, the chairs, your golf chairs are very specific. Your umbrellas would be very specific. People need to go to writercup.com, go to know before you go, and there's a whole host of prohibited items. Read that, know it, because we don't check things here and we don't store things here. So they're best left at home. How many people do you expect to be in the golf course premises every single day. When you count everyone from spectators to you, your peers, my people, the vendors, we're going to be over 50,000 people a day. That is a lot of people, Chief Knight. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. So Jason and Kim, the wind, or Jason and Kylie, I should say, the wind is whipping out here and it is though a very picturesque day and hopefully the golf course should dry up quickly when the players start practicing either later today or tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Allie.